Hello, hello. This is Connie from Peppercorn Arts. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a month since my last video is up, so uh, I think it's about a month. Um, so it's about time for me to uh, come back for another one. And this month, um, uh, I'm going to customize this um, folder from the stationery selection um, April box. So this folder came in with the stationery selection April box um, and it's called uh, she oh, I'm gonna butcher this Shingu Minamoyo I think Shingu Minamoyo keepsake folder and it comes with a bunch of labels to uh, allow you to customize it uh, I think it's super cute and um, today I thought I'm going to try to um, customize it uh, in front of the camera with everyone uh, and uh, and see how it goes um, and also not just that I'm going to see if I can set up something for myself for letter writing and for just like keeping a bits and pieces that I have to uh, I can write uh, or use on a daily basis so let's let's just see how we go so uh, within this uh, folder it comes with um, you can see this beautiful uh, minimalist design this is paper male paper but it's a really thick card and it has the uh, minimalist um, kind of labels around it it's really gorgeous and on the labels it shows you um, ways that you can you see that in the front camera sorry i just have to <laughs> there you go you can see ways that you can actually uh um uh, customize it and i think it's super cute so i'm going to give it a go in uh, following how they set up and set up my own um folder in a similar way sorry for cutting off shot <sighs> cutting off shot before because uh, my sd card is full so now i have to uh redeem a part of uh um, what I was doing before so um, I'm going to set up uh, like I said I'm going to set up the folder in a similar way that is shown in a diagram um, that came with the this folder uh, but I'm going to customize this folder before I set it up so by customizing I'm going to try to stamp it the cover be very brave and stamp it uh, with these stamps that I received uh, previous in the previous box with an ink pack that also come with a previous box. Um, I did, uh, I wasn't sure which color ink pad I should choose, but I'm going to go for the uh, the sand color because I feel like that it is uh, more uh, in line with the sort of minimalist look of um, this. This kind, of, this folder. So um, I've started, uh, and then I'm going to use the label later on. I've started stamping it before I realized that the the um, the camera is actually off, um, and the stamp result it's a little bit faded, which I don't mind. Um, but I definitely will be happier if it is not, uh, it is if it's clearer. So I'll see if I can actually. Uh, stand this a little bit better uh, this round um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get you can use these tea coasters or uh, like a soft surface to place underneath it um, it will give it a little bit more give on the hard surface it might help with the stamping a little bit but I'm quite happy with the color or that it came in with this ink so I'm going to stick with that and I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to see if I can randomly stand the rest of the folder with that. Here we go. Just wish me luck. So I think I've done it. Um, 
all. So that uh, having a soft service definitely help with the uh, printing of the stamps, and uh, I think uh, this is looking really good now. It, I mean, I don't really mind a little bit of uh, fading from the stamps because it's sort of um, so sort of give this that natural look. I don't. I think it's actually okay so I'm gonna leave it as it is and uh, I mean it, you can be fussing over it but I actually quite like the fading on, on certain print because it makes it look kind of authentic <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it as it is and I let go with it and I'm, I would recommend you to leave it dry for a little bit before you keep moving on just in case it's um, it's uh, it's it, it's smudge or anything like that but so far I don't have a lot of smudging I'm not gonna put my finger on it because I'm gonna keep going uh, but I would recommend you to probably leave it to dry for a bit um, the Sachiata ink is very good so it should dry fairly quickly and this card is quite thick so you can see there's no imprint on the other side I didn't bother to print on the other side I think it looks nice like as it is so I'm gonna leave it as um, like that but uh, like I said I would recommend you to try a little bit before I keep you keep going so the next thing is I'm going to put a label on there and I'm going to use it um, uh, to yes to um, put it right in the middle now the decision of choosing which label is the next <laughs> next things next big things for me um, so I probably won't want to choose the label. You can choose multiple label. I mean, those are quite inclined to get go for that one, that one, or that one. There's so many choices. I mean, if you happen to um, choose the wrong one, that's okay. Just peel it off. They print quite thick paper, so you should be able to peel it off quite easily. But I might just go with the um, the brown one in the bottom there, um, just because I like the brown to go with the brown sort of sandy color. Now it doesn't look as good. I have to put it back. I am not sure now. Am I choosing the right one? I like the brown, but I don't really like the line on the top. I might just try that one. I might try this one. There we go. That looks that looks better. I'm happy with that. Now I'm not I'm not fussy about where I'm placing it right at the moment. I'm just going to just use my eye and hope for the best. Uh, there you go looks all right and I'm going to just put it in, push it in and there you go that's my label and I'm going to write my name on the top so so I'm going to write my name on it and then uh, they go Tyler that's done and uh, what we're going to do is I mean you can uh, emb embellish it with um, uh, like stickers and stuff but I might just yeah, I can put a little bit of stickers on there. Oh, yeah, put it. This washi stick is very pretty. I'll just put that one in there. Like that. Just because I can. Uh, oh, I should have choose another one. Just another bubble one. Be good. like that and that's done so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, this is almost done for the cover it's very pretty look at that let's cut closer you can see the shine on the stickers it's very nice so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a I'm going to put some string to be to have it as a closure um, so I have these uh, A4 yarn from the previous box as well and uh, I choose this one because it's a similar color sort of tone with these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a meter fold it uh, about two meters and fold it into half and I'm going to cut it I'm going to go two meters because I prefer to have it longer to start with and not having to less what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use my eyes go to my middle I use a needle and I'm going to poke a hole now you might want to have the soft surface again um, 
to put your hole in it. Use a needle to put a hole in it. I actually don't know if this is going to work. Uh, I just assume that it might work. So let's just hope so. They're quite thick paper, so it might take you a little bit of force. And please be careful when you put your finger, <laughs> your needle through. Uh, my needle is quite blunt, but if you don't have a blunt needle, be very careful. Okay, so now I've got the hole there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this end, the folded, so I have a length, a length, uh, a two meter length of a yarn, and I folded it, in, I folded it into half, and then I'm going to go to the end here. I'm going to bring it closer as I do this, and I'm going to thread it through from the outside cover of the. The mean outside of the cover, fit it through the hole, the folded end into that tiny hole there. Now, wish me luck. I might have to speed this up. <laughs> okay, finally, I got it through. Yay! Look at that. I got it through. So now, because it got bumped in this, it take um, it it just um. You don't have to put it all the way through only just a little bit of uh, yarn through and what you do is you will tie a knot on this like a really quite big knot really quite big knot because you don't want it to come quite through so really quite a big knot that will hold itself in place And then when you go, you will have the string attached. So what happens is now what you can do is it will allow you to have you can you can now tie it up when you're done. Allow you to tie up your folder. So I will have finished off my folder and then I will have something like this. How nice. <laughs> yeah. So that's the idea. I mean, uh, if you have a better way of doing it, uh, let me know. Make a comment and see uh, if we can improve this. This can be... It's, I know some of you will say this look a bit hideous, but I think it's okay. And then you can do this as well if you want to, if you don't want to hide it. Uh, I probably prefer this way actually. Um, anyway, so that's done for the folder. And that's all the customization I'm going to do to this folder. I think it looks nice as it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up. Um, if this annoy you, you can always put a little bit of, mask, uh, a bit of tape and tape it down. Um, you don't have to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up this um, folder and show you how we, we can set this up. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the letter writing stuff on the left hand side or anything incoming letter that I have to reply I'll put on this side and uh, I'll, on the right hand side I'll put some of the um, washi tapes and notes and bits and pieces that I'll need on that side. Okay, so that's how, we can, how, how I'm going to do it. I try my best to set up as quick as I can with all the stuff that I have uh, so just a quick explanation of what I've got here so I thought I have all my letter writing the letter that I received recently from Meet on their uh, letter paper envelope postcard sticky notes um, stickers on the left hand side on the right hand side I have two pockets here where I put the longest uh, notes sort of uh, notepad on the top as well as a ruler I love this uh, uh, little bit of like you know 
tiny small stickers can go on here or if you have the kita stickers you can do the same thing I have it upside down this way so it's not a lot of thick like you know don't have to put all the thickness into the slot so I have that there and I have another sticky notes here for taking notes with I have a pen like I did on the cup on the diagram I have a pen that will sit flat on here now this pen come with the April box uh, I think it's a Sakura pen it has a flat top so it will be perfect to go into this um, into this little pack I also have a ruler there just for the convenience um, and I have the washi tape that I like quite thick sort of uh, stuff you can put it on, on this side as well I feel like uh, so washi tape in there or you can if you want you can put some uh, you can even actually instead of washi tape you can even if you want you can always uh, if you don't have a lot of stuff you can always always put your note here actually and then you can cover it up like that but I, I don't I don't need to but you can put your notebook there if you want to um, uh, I'm not going to do that online um, and on the left, left hand side uh, this project notes watch uh, I might have some project I'm working on and I will uh, keep myself um, remind myself on um, and set goals and actually take notes on here so that can be go that can go on a separate clip um, I broke this on the as I go I broke, I broke, broke the uh, clip when I undo the clip um, on that notepad but it doesn't matter anyway I was trying to use that uh, that clip early on but let's just see if we close so once I am happy with the way that I set it up um, I will close this up um, I think the letter was actually in the right size but yeah it is still the right size so go like this and then clip it if you want you can actually put beads on the end of this so it might make it a little bit more neat and now I have my little pack finish done um, and got a bit of bulk there but yeah, it looks, looks really, really good. I'm really quite happy with these. Um, yeah, that's all I have to share today. I hope you enjoy this really quick video. Um, and uh, don't forget to tag me, tag the stationery selection. Uh, if you happen to um, customize your folder, uh, we would like to see it. Um, leave a comment below if you uh, have any question. Um, or if you just like what I uh, I did today, um, I appreciate the comment too. Um, don't forget to click subscribe if you uh, what you would like to see more video from me. Uh, for now, I might just going to enjoy uh, the rest of my afternoon. Uh, see ya.